Welcome to Civic Education once more. Uh, in this session, we want to start looking at uh, governance systems. But before we do that, let us uh, look at uh, the history of constitutional making process. Uh, this part was uh, missed out in the previous video. So uh, the most important thing that you need to know about this is that you are supposed to formulate a table and be able to write uh, under each section the appropriate uh, name of the constitution, these constitutions, the history of constitutional making process in Zambia, the constitution uh, review commissions are named by the chairpersons, the people who chaired uh, that particular uh, constitutional uh, making process uh, uh, grouping then uh, appointment meaning which which president among the seven presidents or more who uh, who appointed such a particular constitutional uh, body then the year recommendation very important so let us start by looking at uh, the first uh, uh, chona crc which means chona constitutional review commission uh, it was appointed by Kenneth Kaunda, the president by then, the year 1972. So what, were, what was the major recommendation of, among other changes which are minor, but the major recommendation was uh, introducing a one-party state. So the reason why uh, Dr. Kaunda introduced the uh, uh, one-party state is uh, the perception that uh, tribalism was on the rise so having different parties who promote regionalism, meaning a particular party is uh, supported from a certain particular region only and they cannot support others uh, and also vice versa, those coming from the other party, they cannot also uh, support the other party. So that uh, promoted disunity. Uh, at one time, Dr. Kaunda wanted to resign. So uh, he thought uh, by coming up with one party so that you are able to compete within one party it will promote unity, national unity. So Chona Constitutional Review Commission uh, recommended for uh, introducing a one party state, only one political party should exist and that was the United Party for National uh, Independence, UNEP. Then the, the next one is a Mvunga uh, Commission. CRC uh, again Dr. Kaunda in 1991 uh, called for this and uh, the chairperson was Mvunga uh, uh, for this CRC uh, appoint, uh, appointed by Dr. Kaunda in 1991 so after uh, food riots and also shortages of food and uh, rising cost of food uh, people thought they should do introduce more parties for competition so that people in government, they are serious, they become serious and uh, deliver to the expectation of the people. So people, pressure groups, uh, civil society, the media started pre pressurizing Dr. Kaunda and uh, he agreed to come up with a constitution to change the constitution from one party state to a multi-party democracy. By then the grouping was uh, MMD as the major uh, voice. So uh, in 1991, multi-party democracy uh, was introduced, more parties were allowed to form and uh, that uh, saw the formation of multi-party democracy as a movement and then they sponsored uh, Frederick uh, Titus uh, Chiruva uh, to be the presidential candidate in the 1991 elections and uh, in this case, uh, this this was not uh, uh, the, the election were called earlier than he stated because the election was supposed to be in 1993, but in 1991 Kaunda called for uh, early elections and then uh, that saw uh, Frederick Chuba winning with a landslide. That was the end of uh, uh, UNIP's uh, presidency and governance. Then the next one is. Um, Mwanakatwe CRC. This was called by Frederick Chuba in 1995. Frederick Chuba called in 1995 presidential candidates uh, to have Zambian born parents. So the major changes recommendation was uh, to introduce a clause in the constitution that uh, anyone who's supposed to vie for presidency in Zambia 
both parents should have been born in Zambia, they are Zambians. So this was seen as a political kind of a move because they wanted uh, to bar Dr. Kaunda from recontesting in 1996 since uh, uh, some people started realizing that uh, we were cheated and uh, he, he started gaining some momentum and uh, that forced him to start being active in politics so they saw that is a threat and then they tried to push this. This is the clause that uh, 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 affected the Dr. Guy Scott in later years in uh, 2015 when uh, President Michael Sata died. Uh, this uh, guy Scott could have been the president, but he, the clause could not allow him in the constitution. They never changed it, and uh, that's why they went for a convention to elect uh, Edgar Chapalungo as the presidential candidate for Patriotic Front, since Guy Scott as the vice president was not uh, qualifying. So that's how it is. Then in Vunga Commission, Mungomba Commission was the next called by Mwanawasa in 2005. So in 2005, so the major recommendation was a 50% plus one presidential winning threshold. Anyone who wins should do win more than 50%, uh, 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 percent, meaning half of the population should support that particular candidate. Then uh, National Constitutional Conference, NCC, was called during the Rupia Banda in 2010. Uh, and uh, to enact Mongomba draft constitution, which was the constitution for the Constitutional Review Commission called by Mwanawasa. So they wanted to enact it. So then Technical com Committee was also appointed during Michael Sata in 2011 to draft the constitution based on all previous submissions. So in uh, 2015, there was uh, uh, another uh, commission that was called and then uh, uh, that saw the enactment of uh, the amended constitution of 2016, which uh, carried forward the 50% plus one from uh, Mungomba Constitutional Review uh, Commission. So from there on, any president was supposed to win by 50% uh, and uh, more. So what does the what law does the president use to appoint constitutional commission of inquiry such as the constitutional review commission is called in the inquiries act this comes in, in uh, one word answer so this is it, uh, what uh, we left from the previous uh, lesson so in the next lesson we'll be talking about the governance system thank you for your attention